Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to be doing the SSD upgrade in the Mac Mini. So let's just get straight into it. So we need to flip the Mac over and we just need to take the bottom plate off by moving the white dot over to the side and the bottom plate will just drop straight off. And then as you can see here it exposes the internal components. So you can see the memory, the fan and all of that good stuff. So we need to undo a couple of screws first of all, which you'll find are located just at the bottom right hand corner to undo the fan. So the next stage is to lift the fan up gently and you'll see that it is attached via a cable. Um, so you do have to detach this from the motherboard or the logic board, however Apple wants to call it. And to do that you just have to pull it towards you and then it should come free. So the next stage is to undo the four screws up here at the top that keep the wireless antenna into the Mac Mini. Now if we look down here at the very bottom, there's just one screw we need to undo to remove this black piece of plastic. So to remove this little cover, all you have to do is lift it up and then just wiggle it straight out of the Mac. So things are starting to get a little bit trickier now. We have to remove the wireless section. Now you just have to sort of wriggle it and it will eventually come out. The memory sticks are blocking it slightly, so you just have to lift it over the sort of black plastic and it will come out. Now you do have to be careful because it is attached via a cable. So all I did here was just got a, a sort of a small screwdriver and just sort of popped off the cable and it came away quite nicely. So this part is very easy. We just need to pop these cables here. This is where the hard drives attached to the motherboard. So we're finally at the hard drive. We just need to lift it up and wiggle it out and then we can start changing it over. So there's a couple of steps involved with changing this over. First of all, we need to take out the screws on the original hard drive. So there's only two, and I'll show you why in a second. So once we've taken these off, we need to attach them over on to the SSD, ready to go back in. Now you may have noticed this black protective cover around the original disc. Now Apple put that on for a reason, so all I'm going to do here is actually take it off and then reattach it onto the original drive. So when it goes back in, it'll be exactly the same as the original one. So the reason why the hard drive only had two screws was you can see the two mounting points here where the hard drive slots into. So all we have to do now to put the Mac back together is just do the reverse of what we've already done. So be careful when you put this in, there are cables on the left and the right hand side. So you just need to slot it back in making sure that the screws line up inside of those mounting points that I showed you just a second ago. And then once it's in position, all we have to do then is just attach the, the cables back to the motherboard for both hard drives. Okay, so this next part can be a little bit fiddly. So this is where we're going to attach the wireless antenna back to the motherboard itself. So as you can see here, you just have to line it up and then just push down on the connector and eventually it will clip on. And then just be, make sure that you actually tuck that cable back underneath. So once you have all that sorted, make sure you put the antenna back in position and then all it is is just a case of putting all the screws back into the same places we removed them from. So the piece of plastic we took out earlier, we just need to slot that back into position to line it up and then just push it down and like I said, it'll just sort of click back in uh, to where it came from. And then also don't forget to put the screw at the bottom of that piece of plastic to secure it in. Okay, so we're now on the final stretch. We now need to attach the fan back to the motherboard. So you can see the connection here. Now this is the most fiddliest part I found with this. So you have to lay the connection on top of the connector itself. And then if you just push down, it will clip into position. So you do have to mess about with it a little bit. So I, as you can see here, I use both fingers to actually push it down and make sure it's got a good contact. So once you're happy you have connected the fan back to the motherboard, all we have to do then is just screw the three screws that connect the fan back into the Mac. So that's how you upgrade your Mac Mini with an SSD. So I just want to thank you for watching my video. If you found it useful, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe button just above. If you could share this video on Facebook or Twitter or anywhere, that would be fantastic. And I'll catch you all in the next video.